Mark from True Seeker, and uh, I'm going to take you back into some of my, uh, I think it's Pathfinder files. I'll, get, I'll try to find the links as usual, but I mean, look at the mess they made of this picture. Now, to me, and a buddy of mine I showed this to con confirmed what I'm seeing. This looks like some type of horse. You see there's some type of tail in the back. Pack a llama, I don't know. You can see it almost looks like there's uh, udders hanging down. You see, right here in the center. You can see the muscle tone of the legs. All right, you can see you come up here. You can see the eye reflecting. You see what I'm talking about? You see the eye reflecting? I'm using this because it's a little better for you to see. But right where the center dot is, see where the eye is reflecting? Now there's something right around its neck. Maybe that's what they use to, uh, you know, like a horse uh, saddle. I don't know what they call the cables and stuff, but you see, look at this coming up. Looks like a guy's leg. The back of it is a buttocks. There's his back. You can see his two arms where they blurred out. Now they made a mess of him, but. It looks like maybe one of his legs is up here, like he's trying to get, like he's jumping up on it. You see what I'm talking about? You see the structure of the back legs? You can almost see where the legs come down in the feet, where they put this stupid blur. I mean, they were doing this back then. You could see that there's carvings and stuff in front of it that they blurred out. Like, look at this thing that they blurred out. Look at it. It almost looks like a bow, an intricate bow. I don't know if that's a plant. I have no idea. It looks like there's plants there. I don't know how they're gonna relate on video, but you can almost see like that kaleidoscope glass that they put on here. And they sent very low quality back, very, very low quality. Like this rock here, you can see there's something sticking out here that they blurred. Like this rock, I believe this whole thing to be fake. Like you see the face carved in here that they blurred. You see these carvings, how it looks 3D. I think this is some type of piece of machinery back here. This white on top is all fake. All fake, that white. You see how there's all intricate stuff. You see how this looks like it's 3D. Now these Pathfinder pictures, I'm going to show you some stuff, but you got to work with me because the quality is horrible. But I just want you guys to see how, how deep this runs because the, it's, NASA is just nothing but a bunch of BS. Look at this statue. You can see the face right there. See how they put all this kaleidoscope? You could see the parts of what's underneath there. And then they just started doubling and tripling stuff up and then just making a mess. Like back here, they put this big black smudge on something. Now, this photo, I went back and I did a video the other night on this hill with that S. And here's the same S on that hill. See where they cut the photo? It just so happens that they cut the photo. See? right where this S is and right where this big statue is. See the two eyes? You see how it flares up? See how the statue comes up? See what they did to it? See how they almost like just blurred it and tripled it? You see? You see how they just made a mess of this? You could see there's something back there but in that video I did I showed you an S up on that hill, and it just so happens Pathfinder landed by this hill, and Curiosity, I didn't know that they were that close, but there's that 3DS that I found, if you go back, it's about 10 videos back I think, it's a giant S on a hill, and it's on a stand, okay. and then you come back here, you see all this stuff back here, that they just blurred? They figured this stuff wasn't important enough to tell us, you know. But you can see there's all types of stuff in this picture. I mean, you 
even down. Let's see. Here it looks like they, they just blackened something. See the head where they they blurred that out. I mean, look at this. Look at the mess they made of these pictures. But they knew exactly where they were going with these rovers. They had an exact an exact plan. They just didn't drop these down anywhere to study rocks. I mean, if you believe that, then you got rocks in your head. Because, let me tell you something. What I believe is that I think it was 1942, the Battle of Los Angeles, when those uh, UFOs were over Los Angeles and we shot at them like a bunch of Nimrods. And then there was UFOs over the White House, which I believe they were coming to contact Truman, I think it was back then. I could be wrong. And then 1940s, I think it was 47, I think we jammed uh, one of them with radar and uh, w they went down in Roswell. And I think one or two of them lived, and that's how we started. This is just my theory. That's how we started communications with them. And uh, we came to some type of agreement. And, uh, you know, I think our elite are up on Mars. Now, if something catastrophic was going to happen to this planet, don't you think the elite would have a plan to get off of here? Now, they're not going to tell Russia, Germany, uh, China... You know the chaos there would be? They, they would be killing each other to get on these crafts and leave. I believe there's craft. I believe our government has craft that can get to Mars. I believe they're setting up there in case if there is a major catastrophe. Because let me tell you something. If this planet, look at this stuff. If we were going to be annihilated and it's just a matter of time before there's an asteroid or a big object that's going to hit us, it's inevitable, it's going to happen. Look at this thing hidden back here. Look at this. Look how they put the black smudge in front of it. You can see where they whited that out. But look, looks like a pot with a handle. It's inevitable before it. Look at this. It looks like a bowl, an upside down bowl. Look at that thing. Look at this. Back in Pathfinder. I got pictures of incredible stuff from Pathfinder. I usually don't like to show them to people because of the quality, but somebody close to me is pushing me to then take these pictures out and show people so I'm going to do that for her but uh, like I was saying the elite they have a way off this planet they're just not going to sit here and perish us we're it's I mean look what happened in uh, what was it Russia with that uh, asteroid that exploded or was shot out of the air come on they knew this thing was coming but what are you going to do? You're going to tell people? What are people going to do? What are they going to do? Look what happens when we get a little bit of a flood. Or there's a big storm coming. I mean, imagine. Look at this thing. It looks like it's got a mouth. It looks like it's got a friggin' cigar coming out of its mouth. But, uh, you know, what will we do? You know, the elite have a way off. So I believe they came to some type of agreement. And they're either working with Greys, Nordics, you know, whatever. And uh, that's why we allow them to do cattle mutilations, abductions. For, they need something genetically from us. I don't know if it has to do with the pigment in their skin or something. But there's something genetically that they're, they're trying to get from us. I don't know if we help them reproduce, whatever it is. But I believe we're in some type of agreement with them and working together. From what I've seen on Mars, there's all types of NASA vehicles up there, habitats. Uh, so, you know, I believe it's a little, people may think it's a little wacky, but I think our government, you know, the elite are not going to perish. There's just no way that's going to happen. So, us, we have to fend for ourselves. When I see stuff like this, that looks like a live animal with, uh, you know, something around its neck, and somebody, it looks like somebody blurred out getting up on it. I mean, you can see where his pants end and the shirt, where they blurred him. I mean, come on. It's some of the things I've shown you.
like the other night, that piece of machinery. So there's something big going on. But, you know, our government, look at this, look at this statue they blurred out. And it's so easy to do. Oh my God, is that easy. You know, they're not gonna tell everybody. I mean, what do you think you're gonna have, uh, you know, 30, you know, 30 million people fighting to get on a couple of craft or something? You know, if something big was gonna happen, they're gone. They are gone. And what perfect place to go? I mean, I have videos that prove that there's mining and life on Mercury. The moon is guaranteed, and Mars is guaranteed. And I think Mars looks basically just like Earth. I think it's a thriving city, a thriving world. So, just my opinion. But if you watch my videos, it makes a lot of sense. You know, that's, that's an analogy that I had in my head for a long time. That, you know, our elite, they've been in contact since the 1940s. And they worked out a little something. And there's just no way the elite are gonna perish. It's just not gonna happen. They have to keep going. You know, they have to survive. They have to carry on our heritage and bloodline. But, uh, you know, we're not gonna, you know, there's nothing we could do about it. I mean, if a huge body was gonna hit us, you think they're gonna tell us? I mean, you, you, come on, really think about it. Look what happened in Katrina. Look at how long it took people to get help and medicine. So if there's a major catastrophe, they're gone. You know what, and almost part of me doesn't blame them. Because if me or you had an out, we'd take it too. Be honest. You know, you would try to get all your loved ones, but you'd be out too. All right, guys, I rambled on long enough. I showed you some crazy stuff. And I got some really crazy, I got another Pathfinder uh, picture that shows, to me it looks like almost like a golf cart or some type of vehicle. I'm gonna see what kind of quality I can get out of it. If it's decent, I'm gonna upload it. All right guys, Truth Seekers out.